Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for the Roulette Pan collab. I am pretty excited about this update actually because that means it is one month to the finale and we are soon going to see the new categories for the new round that is starting in February. I am filming my la mine late so I've already seen Rebecca and Alexis videos that they have announced the new round in February. I'm really excited about this because they created it a few years ago now, two years ago I think. And it has just been so much fun to rotate through my collection and use products that I didn't really think about using. I have my products here but as I was sitting down and filming I realized I only had five products in. At the beginning I had six, so I don't know what went wrong. I don't have any empties for this update, but I have some exciting news. Can you say that? I have made some opinions about some products that I didn't think I would really like. And yeah, I, I hope you guys are going to be excited as well. It's not, it's not amazing and different and everything, but... I'm pretty excited about it anyway. The product that have been in here the longest is my color tattoo from Maybelline and it is in permanent taupe. I have been using this in my brows for the first one month and a half and then my eyebrow brushes was dirty and now they are clean again so now I can use it again so I hope I can make some good progress on this. I have been considering decluttering this though in a week or something. I have a massive dip in it. So that is something. But as you can see, it has pulled away from the edge pretty much there. So it's pretty dry. Um, so I am really thinking about decluttering this. Um, yeah. Ooh. It's, it's really dry, like insanely dry. You can get a lot on your finger and everything, but when you touch it, it's really dry, like it's just dry clay or something. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I do love it in my brows. I really do. And I have used up it up before, so that is why it was an old favorite. I don't know. Guys, this is stupid. Why am I keeping this if it is dry? It's going. It's not cruelty free anyway, so why, why? Elizabeth, why? I'm going to declutter this. Thinking out loud sometimes help. You think logically <laughs> and realistically. So, I have been using this and I have been loving it. And I don't think I have got my money's worth. But it is just so dry and crumbly. And I actually don't want to use it. I have been using a brow pencil for the past week, month and a half. Yeah, I think so. Or maybe just a month. Um, and I have been really enjoying it. But I also miss my powders. So I don't really want to use this. And it's not the right color for me anyway because I'm kind of a red and I think I'm thinking about staying red for a, for a while. So long story short, this is going, this is decluttering. I'm I'm bye. Bye bye. The next one I'm going to talk about is my W7 Stoop and Gold Storming Stick. This was from my favorite shade. I love this rose gold pinky shade. In everything I absolutely love it I am really disappointed in myself about this product because I have not used it enough at all I don't have any progress so and my paper is not here well it's over there and I don't want to get it because there's no progress because I've used it like three times it's a cream highlighting stick no it's not going anywhere this is everything that I have left in it it is a beautiful shade it it's stunning actually and I really really enjoy it but for some reason I can't get myself to use this so and um, this is not going to be done or my hit my goal by next update nope that is not going to happen I don't know myself and I know strobing sticks they last forever maybe a year for me so this is not going to go anywhere I was really hoping that I could finish half or something but that is not going to happen <laughs> At all. I'm really considering now to choose two new items because I decluttered one and I'm apparently missing one. I I don't know. Last time I chose three new items so maybe I should have chosen four last time. I don't know what happened <laughs> but 
I am enjoying my Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Last Extension Mascara. Longest name, name ever. I love it. I have it on today as my only mascara. And I really, really enjoy it. And yes, I do think it is true with the lengthening fibers in it. I can totally see the fibers and it is absolutely beautiful. I love my lashes and I love how it looks. I do need to be careful with my lower lashes because if they get too long it transfers into my concealer. Um, so I just put a little bit on the map but I don't want a lot anyway. I do love it for my top lashes. And it's cheap, it's essence but it's absolutely good. It's so good. I love it. Something I have also enjoyed is my W7 iFly eyeliner. It has an eyeliner and a stamp. I don't use the stamp at all, so I start upside down with the eyeliner tip. It might seem big, but you can actually just kind of stamp it. Ironic, but you can kind of stamp it. I have it on today. It makes a beautiful eyeliner. It is easy to do wing with. I don't use that. I don't do that a lot, but when I do, it's really easy to do with this one. Um, it should be easy with the stamp as well, but because I have hooded eyes, I don't think it is going to work that well. Yeah, use my forehead. I do love the eyeliner and I'm just going to use that up. Um, I think I'm just going to focus it on it for now, even though the finale is next month. Then we have my Lit Luxury from NYX and it is in the color Whimsy. It is this beautiful pinky, yeah, pinky shade. Liquid shadow, I have it as a base today, but you can't see it because I've used like a bouncy taupe color on top. I love this, I have used it Seven times, I think, my paper set. Yeah, seven times. So I need three more to hit my goal. And I have used this even more. So that is goal hit, but I'm just going to say. So satisfying if I can use this three more times. I don't see that as a struggle. I can use that by the end of the year. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about the finale. I don't think it is going to be spectacular, but... I don't know, should I choose two more products because next time it's actually just three three items? Maybe I should just pick three items just to play with. Let's see, I have my spreadsheet here in case I wanted to choose some products. So, 1, 2, 36, number 29. A product that smells good. And I think that is just going to be a perfume, so <laughs> that's fine. 31. A colorful eyeliner. Well, I have my colorful eyeliners in another project. But I do have some colorful eyeliners that is not in that project. So maybe I should just go with those. A dark navy blue. Is that, is that cheating? It might be. <laughs> I have some other ones. I will be right back. It's actually quite easy to do this one. So I will be right back. I have my two products, that was like 20 seconds, <laughs> well I have them, that was not that hard. For a product that smells nice, right, it is the Azor Azor Wanted Udi Toilet Perfume Sample. I have not smelled it yet, but hopefully it's good. It smells like a man. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use this. Is this a man perfume? I smell like a man. This might be for men. It doesn't say. It's very masculine. No, not that one. I can't do that one. I can't do it. So, I changed it up. It is going to be Chloe perfume. I have this sample. I don't know how these works. How do how do they work? Is it only one use? Otherwise, it will be very easy. That perfume is very manly. Oh my god, I can't I can't do that. Jessica, how can you do it? I don't know how you can do this. Well, I am choosing this sample by Chloe perfume sample. Hopefully, going to be less masculine. <laughs> and for a colorful eyeliner, I have my NYX Slide On Glide On Stay On and definitely a Turn On Water. What? 
Lol. <laughs> okay, it is called Pretty Violet. This is funny. I think it's funny. It is called Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. And then it, it, and then it says, This eyeliner is so good, the name had to be this long. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, I love this. This is a beautiful purple eyeliner. It is definitely something I will use on my lower lash line. It is somewhat brand new. I have jammed it like once or twice maybe. Not, maybe not even. But yes, this is really, really nice and I love it and I am excited to use it. And I do think they will. it will pair nicely with the shadows that I'm going to pan next year <laughs> so now i have my six products again i'm pretty happy about them and i'm pretty happy about the new products and categories that i got i can play without without compromising myself with other projects and products so so i hope you guys enjoyed this update if you did give it a like subscribe down below if you are new here i would love for you to stick around and be a part of my small family that I'm growing. I really hope you are going to stay. It will mean the world to me. And also my next video, please take care and check out the other ladies if you haven't already. You can search on the roulette pan collab hashtag and you will find all the other ladies. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I see you later in my next video. Bye bye.